This tour is unreal. Yeah. This store shouldn't be called Paul Stewart. It should be called Scott Disick. How you doing? Good. How are you, Scott? Well. I need to step my game up, and I need a new accessory. I don't want to do a top hat. But is there anything else I could be looking into? We have pocket squares that might oh, interest you. Oh, I have tons you. of pocket squares. Of those? Maybe ascot. We're done with the path. OK. Ascot. What's the proper way to tie an ascot? Nice suspender. That jacket's pretty official. Want me to grab one for you? Sure. 38 regular. Oh, yeah. This would be a nice thing to walk around with. Oh, that is something. Oh, I could be rocking umbrellas. That umbrella right there is very crisp. Oh, this is killer. This is a beaut. Can't curse in a gentleman's store. Yeah, that cane. The cane is nice. You see that bad boy? <laughs> oh. That's actually kind of amazing. You might have to work on the wall. Oh, look though. at this one. <laughs> look at the head on that. Nice girth. I could sure use this bad boy. Old money, new whip, state champ, blue chips. You don't want no problems. Mac 11 got two clips. You already know troop hot. The top of the coupe drop. It's the pimp walk. You gotta do the pimp walk. My great granddaddy was a pimp. You know what? I don't know how you do it, but it actually doesn't even look too crazy. I mean, this is definitely what I need. It fits, I'm telling you. Perfect accessory for the man that needs nothing. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Hello, I'm ready to buy. It's what You're welcome. On your cane, it's $3,500. 3000 for a walking stick. Sounds reasonable. I cannot wait to unleash my new fall trend to the world, the walking stick. Stick me. This is one of the greatest shopping experiences of my life. I'm almost appalled that I've never been here before. You're not picking out carpets for the house. I don't pick out carpet for houses, only for aviation and yachts. I need to start thinking about what kind of color carpeting I want on my jet. So now you're into this, suddenly. I've always been into being ultra rich. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, no one's getting mad at you. Calm down, you're in a Mercedes. Relax. Doll? You have to see my new that... fall fashion accessory. Oh my god, I love it. Kid knows. <laughs> that is way over the top. That's a little intense. But that's me. Right, but this is like taking it to like a whole new level. Yeah. There is no way that Scott could be serious about using a cane. Like this has got to be a joke. I actually think it's very fab. She's saying it's fab because she knows. If you, you saw perfect. me at a wedding like this, would you be like? If you were with a date or without a date? No, either. Would you either be like, way? Yeah, I'd be like, like dude. I wish that bitch was on my arm. On my, not on. Oh, okay. You are not Monica. allowed in my fittings anymore. Monica, I love you, and I think you do an amazing job. But just let her get a little titty on. <laughs> oh my God. I, mean, I, Scott Disick. I, Scott Disick. Affirm that. Affirm that. I will be faithful. I'll be faithful. And bear true respect and honor. And bear true respect and honor. To the people of the manor. To the people of the manor. And will be true to the laws of England and Wales. And be true to the Lord of... To the laws of England and Wales. To the laws of England and Wales. Amen. Amen. You just mind lowering your head slightly? I dub thee Lord of the manor. Please rise, Scott, Lord of the manor. I'm feeling royal. This whole being knighted ceremony to becoming a lord, it's pretty amazing. I don't really know what's going on. I'm loving it. This is fantastic. With this crown, I crown you Scott Disick, the new lord of the manor. Long live his lordship. What's going on right now? This is not happening. Please arise, my lord. Welcome to a fraternal brotherhood. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, okay, I get which way we're going. You don't need to point. Scott is insisting on bringing his cane to make its public debut. And this is going to be like the longest walk ever to go get coffee down the street. Oh, whoa, whoa. oh my god. Whoa, whoa. Can I get a picture? Want like, me to hold your bag? You. We love you. Thank I you. I wouldn't be surprised if I woke up and there's going to be a million people ordering canes out there. I wouldn't be surprised if you wake up and your cane was thrown off the balcony. Shh. We're, we're talking, just talking about, about Chloe's um, birthday. Chloe's birthday. I think we should put an ice skating rink over her pool. But it's summer. What about a foam party? Yes. 
At our house, the pool, the whole thing's foam. We do a jello pit, jello fighting. Like everybody's gonna do jello shots? For no, they're gonna f wrestle in jello. Is that not the vibe we're going? I don't think no. so. The lights look cool, huh? Lights look great. Hey, look who's here, Mr. GQ. How you doing, brother? Right? Hey, look at you. Some of the construction guys are wearing ascots, trying to show off because they know Big Daddy was coming in today. Hello. Your name is Scott. Well, Welcome. Sure. Obviously, one of the things that inspired me to become royalty was the outfits. So I'd ask Rob to come with me and kind of go royal clothing shopping. I was looking just to get some kind of get up that Show looked. The thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, like this type of look. Uh, like a Tudor. king. Christina, so show Chris that Christine is the governor. I'm looking for, I guess, the tutor, yeah. some king type feel, or yeah, is that weird? <laughs> Hello. I kind of feel like little Wayne would wear this. Yeah, he probably would. Young <laughs> man. Any other options? Or? Scotty. Oh, yeah. It matches a lot of your clothes. It actually does. <laughs> the I'm talking, you want? Yeah! <laughs> Get down. <laughs> this fur cape slash jacket. It's a little much, but I'm a lord, so who's gonna tell me I can't do it? Yeah, hey, young man. Oh. Let's see. Yeah? I haven't had a cane yeah. in a while. I think I look like a gentleman. Well, you are. Yeah. Well, some may say different. So my cane has gone missing. It's obvious who took it. The one who hates it the most. Doll? Yeah. Where are you? In here. Where's my cane? I haven't seen it. Maybe you left it somewhere. Where's my cane? Why are you looking at me like that? Gotta see if you're lying. Like you would know. You're ready to suffer the consequences of hiding or throwing out my cane. Oh my god, you're so dramatic. Just tell me. It's not about I you. Don't you don't do that to somebody. Cane. Where are you going, That's sweet? Just... All right. It takes two to tango, and I'm about to prove that point. I need to find this cane. I need answers. And I know just how to get those answers. Fendi, Prada. What are you doing? Something I like to call collateral. All of your shoes, they're all going out there unless you get me my cane. Do you want to tangle with me? I want my shoes back. Not that difficult. Now, give me that cane, or these things are going off. Yeah, uh -huh. right. Do you think I won't let these go? You're being absurd. Just tell me, do you think I won't let these go? I don't think you will. Really? Really. Really? What? I'm a little tired from London, and the Lord wouldn't mind an iced tea and some grapes. The Lord? Yeah. Yeah, right. The Lord wants a little service in his own home. The Lord needs to get a reality check and realize that that's not happening. Kim filled me in on Scott thinking that he's royalty, which is ridiculous. I'm the lord of a manor. All right, well, I'm the queen of this house, so why don't you get me some grapes and... Why don't we both just I'll have lounge. a coconut water. Why don't we both no. just lounge? No. The lord needs service. I am pregnant. I need to be catered I to. I know what you are, and I you always do. No, get chop chop. It's clear that I was a lord in London, and it's clear that I am not royalty in my own home. Tell me one thing it's doing to your life that's bringing you down that you have to go hide it on me. This whole thing is so stupid, but Scott obviously loves his cane, and if it's making him happy, I don't know why I should care. If the cane or walking stick or whatever the fashion accessory is makes you happy, maybe I should just accept it and not beat you up about it. But hopefully he will get bored with this cane soon, and I'll never have to see it again. You should know that you're my best accessory. Thank you. Give me some of that love. Do you want to know where your cane is? Yeah. It's underneath the cushion outside. It's raining outside. It's under the cushion, I said. You better make sure that that thing was waterproof. You better go check it. Finally, to get my hands back wrapped around that nice piece, my stick, I'm back.